several years ago during my first couple of years of religious life, I remember asking one of the sisters, we were having a conversation, I think, about heaven and meeting God. And she shared with me a story. It's more of folklore than her own original story. But she said, at the end of our lives, when we come face to face with God, God will only ask us two questions. One, who did you help get here to God's love? And the second question is, who did you hinder, block them from getting to God's love? thought-provoking questions of how we live our lives as disciples. Who do we help get bring people to God's love? And who do we hinder? Today's gospel begins a season of what we call ordinary time. It's the counted seasons between the Advent Christmas season right now and then East Lent and Easter. We'll be back to ordinary time during the summer between Easter and Advent. But this Sunday, we begin with John's gospel and the call to discipleship. With this sort of hint back at Advent and Christmas that the gospel in John chapter 1, John the Baptist is with two of his disciples. John the Baptist and says, points there, there is the Messiah. Go follow him and pointing to Jesus. Again, that hint, our lives like John the Baptist pointing people to Christ, helping people get to God's love. In John's gospel, uh, one of the disciples of John the Baptist, who John the Baptist said to them, go follow Jesus, was Andrew. We don't know the other disciples' name. But they go follow Jesus. And in the gospel, Jesus turns and looks at them and says, what are you looking for? And they said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where do you stay? And Jesus invites them to follow by saying, come and see. So they went and stayed where he lodged. Well, Andrew was so moved by whatever that experience was, is that he goes and gets his brother and says to Simon, Simon, we have found the Messiah, which means the anointed one. So Andrew brings Simon to Jesus who looks at him and says, you are Simon, son of John. Your name shall be Cephas, which is rendered Peter. That's the gospel story. The followers are seeking Jesus. Where do you stay? And Jesus invites them to come and see and to be. And it's so transformative that Simon is now named Peter. What moves us to bring people to God's love? That's our call to discipleship. Who will we help bring people to God's love? And by our witness, how do people know, say, yes, there is God's love. There is an example of God's love in the world. So this week, let us be mindful of our call to discipleship and reflect on the questions. Who do we help bring people to God's love? Who do we say, come and see this wonder that we have experienced of God's love? And also, who have we hindered and how can we reconcile that? There's a lot of opportunity in the world today to bring about God's love, God's healing, reconciliation. And how can we be a part of that, of God's love, and not be in the way of God's love? Jesus is asking us, what are you looking for? We want to follow. We want to be part of that pathway to God's unconditional love that is expansive and wide where all are welcome. Who will we help this week get there? Amen.